So the Royals forecast, hopefully it'll help the hitters. Gusts up to 35 miles per hour for the first pitch, 79 degrees, and then staying warm and dry, 76 by the ninth inning. You don't even need a jacket, probably not even a windbreaker. You'll still be comfortable. Here's a look at first alert clouds and radar. So we have the clouds going across, but as meteorologist Nick Bender and Katie Horner were talking about this morning, it's just going to be the wind that we're going to emphasize more than anything else. But the raging blizzard is going on once again in action in that arc from Colorado all the way to Wisconsin, eventually heading toward Michigan too. And then severe weather since it is that time of year. And don't forget, we're going to be out in, say, Overland Park for a high V and Midland radio uh, appearance, I should say, where you can hopefully buy one of those to add to your arsenal to keep your family safe. But right now, it does not look like a chance of severe weather for us this evening through the overnight hours. But farther out to the west, that's probably where you're going to see those activities taking place. As far as what we're going for tonight, I think will be mostly clear, but mild as those temperatures will continue to drop through the 70s. Look at first alert future scan. You can tell where the center of low pressure is way out to the west. It will generate a thunderstorm complex that will move and bypass as well to the northwest. Snow stays up there as well. And look, here's the low. This is now by Thursday morning tomorrow. Winds will eventually will switch around in the afternoon hours, and that's when the temperature will start to drop. So instead of being in the 80s of today, we'll be a little cooler than that and definitely colder than that heading into Friday morning and even Saturday morning too, as we could even see a little bit of a freeze. Here you see that 33 to 51 degrees on Friday, windy. And Saturday, the winds try to die down a little bit, 32 to 52 degrees then. Rain is likely on Sunday. That's why we're giving you the impact day then. Monday, 68 for a high temperature, so it really doesn't cool down or stay cold long. 72 on Tuesday, and by Wednesday, another chance of rain and the high temperature right then at 70 before going back to the 60s for a couple of days next Thursday and Friday.